I'm down here in Slocum. It's uh, Saturday, January 11th. We've got some nasty weather coming in today, so I really didn't have a chance to video take much of what I was doing out here. This is gonna be a pretty short video. Um, so, I uh, found out that they're, they're paying top dollar to send bees to California, and so we're gonna try and get, originally my goal last summer was to try and do 40. Uh, some of the hives have died out, as you can see over there, some are a little weak. And so uh, I was thinking I would send 20, but I think I'm gonna be able to do about either 28 or 32. So this pallet right here is ready to go pretty much. I didn't go through all the bees. I had a couple of old plastic boxes that I had on some of my bees and there were some old uh, worn out boxes or boxes that needed to be changed out up at Lake Patty Sioux and then a couple of plastic boxes here. So you can see right here, this is one of them. I put a little stencil on there. I'm gonna put my initials on all these boxes that go out to California on all the deeps and maybe the mediums also just to identify them uh, but look at that stencil my wife made for me I think it's kind of cool that's one of the new boxes I got from Armstrong um, from Robbie Armstrong up at Armstrong and family apiaries in Indiana and I really like the boxes we painted them and then we put a little stencil on. I thought that was kind of cool so we're, I'm waiting on some mediums to come. Got to get those things put together. And I also mixed and matched. I wish I would have had time to really show you what I was doing, but this hive right here is super strong. It was packed out with bees, uh, packed out with honey uh, or food stores in the top box. And so I took a couple of frames of brood out of that one and put it in these two singles over here and um, one each in each of these singles and put a box of, or a frame of honey in that one on the far side as well. It was a little weaker. So hopefully they'll increase their count. I didn't go through all these hives because of the pending weather. I just didn't feel like I had time, but I did do that. I changed out some of these boxes. And uh, so our goal over the next couple of weeks, this one we're gonna leave here, that one we're gonna leave, that's a, that's a yellow jacket trap I put out. It's caught more flies than anything else. Um, but I'm gonna leave it sitting out there. If it gets successful, I'll kind of explain what I did, but it, it hasn't been super successful for catching yellow jackets, but I really haven't seen any yellow jackets out here today. Anyway, so we're gonna try and get a deep and a medium on all these, try and get them evened out some, and they're gonna come pick the bees up at my friend's place on January 27th is what we're planning on now. So in the next couple of weeks, I gotta get these things ready to go and over to his place. Uh, I think I'm gonna end up with, I've got 18 up at Lake Patty Sue right now, but they are, um, I'm gonna put two more out there. I'm gonna take a couple of double nukes I've got, double stack nukes and stick them in on those pallets. Uh, they're paying pretty good. So uh, maybe I can make enough to help uh, really grow even more this year by sending some hives out to California. So I just kind of thought I'd explain what I'm doing right now. Really this month, the rest of this month is going to be geared towards getting these pallets ready, getting them over to the holding yard so the truck can come pick them up. And they said they'll be gone from the end of January till late March, early April. And when they come back, I've heard, and some of those who are watching these videos might be able to tell me differently or tell me what your experience has been if you've done pallets before, but I've heard that they come back assuming everything goes uh, well, they come back strong from California. My understanding is the almond pollen is really good for the bees and they really grow. So when they get back, I'm probably going to be doing quite a few splits to try and get them, you know, just to get more hives, maybe sell some nukes and just try and get some honey going and just try and keep this thing growing as much as I can physically do. I think that's enough for now. I'm going to walk down and show you. I did, I, I think, I don't know if I I think in one of my other videos, I may have explained that I put some uh, corn syrup out for these bees. And I was a little concerned because it was so thick. So I'm gonna walk down there and I'll show you kind of what we ended up with, uh, where the corn syrup was. I came out here last week and I had to check and see and kind of dump these out. The bees have pretty much eaten all the corn syrup, pretty much all of it, but I just kind of left the fine straw laying around so they could clean it up. But as you can see, there's really Almost no bee death that I can see. There's a pine straw here. It was in that bucket, I guess. They've totally got it cleaned up now. You see how much pine straw I put in this bucket? It was totally 
I mean, a bucket is full of pine straw right there. And I put more, I'll probably at least double the pine straw in these buckets with the corn syrup because it was so thick. And my fear was the bees would drown. Let me dump it out though. Let's see if we see some dead bees. I really don't see. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple in there. Very, very few. No more than I experienced with the uh, sugar water. So I think the key with this corn syrup is to just, there's a little bee right there still forking on a little bit down in there. I don't know if you saw it or not. I think the key with this is just to uh, a few down there that may have been there before. Just put plenty of pine straw in there. I think the ideal way to do it, my buddy Davis is doing it with, uh, he's using kiddie pools, so they're really bigger, a bigger surface area and really putting a lot of pine straw on that. And that may even work better. But this is just what I had, this is what I did and it worked fine. Okay, just gonna keep you posted. And I hope you're not getting bored with these videos about me doing pallets. I will actually get into some bees for a video here soon. We may videotape next weekend is going to be my goal to try and get them pretty much ready to go um ready to go on the trucks and uh have them ready to take over the holding yard so maybe we can get some good video next week i just really don't know what what it holds weather wise or anything like that i've got a friend that's going to help me out to try and get them ready I'm gonna sign off for now i'm from out here in slocum alabama at one of my palletized bee yards uh, it's kind of exciting. Bee season's kicking off. Some of those hives are just packed with bees. Um, some are a little weaker and some are, are really packed and I'm hoping for a good year, assuming everything goes good out in California. And then the stuff I keep back home, can get it strong, catch some swarms and do some splits and just keep growing this thing and learning as we go along the way. That's it for now. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would. I'd also appreciate it if you'd hit that thumbs up and the bell for further videos from me. Uh, it's been a lot of fun doing these YouTube videos over the past year or so. Uh, when I got serious about it about a year ago, it's been kind of fun and hopefully you continue to enjoy them. I'm gonna sign off for now. Uh, thanks for watching Bruce's Bees. On to the next video.